Yeah, what I told the girls downstairs, I'm just super proud of how they bounced back in the fourth quarter. Um, we're still giving up too many points in there, but um, we didn't let our scoring droughts in the second and third quarter um, dictate what our fourth quarter looked like offensively. So I'm just super proud of them being resilient. They fought their fourth quarter. Quarter was definitely our best quarter as far as energy goes, as far as just our fight and just overall resilience. So um, we just talked about that a lot and, and now it's time to shift our focus to, to Richmond. Coach, kind of seems like there's a reputation building for turning it on in the third quarter and fourth quarter now. Um, what is it about the team that kind of, you know, kind of has that fight now? I wish I had the answer to that. I'm trying to get them to do that in the first two quarters, but I haven't been successful yet. So I have to figure out what we can do to get them going in the first quarter. I mean, like you said, it's no secret that our best quarters are the third and fourth quarter. I honestly think that we just take the first half to just feel what what's happening on the court. You know, we have very cerebral young ladies, and I think that once they see it, now they can react to it. So trying to figure out how we can uh, flip that around but I mean I'm, I'm glad that they found a half that they really feel comfortable and can fight. Uh, Riley 31 points I think uh, six of eight from behind the arc um, and back to back 30 point games as Laura said uh, kind of what is it that, why are you on fire I guess is the kind of the question like what is it that it feels like yeah, I think uh, with this game especially, we got a lot of different people going. Uh, we had Bree attacking the rim a lot. Caitlin, I think, finished with 10 points. Uh, a lot of people getting O boards, kicking it out, things like that. So I think that's really helped me. Uh, having people have to guard everyone on the court makes it really tough. And Coach, what's it like kind of being able to count on Riley to kind of, even in those second and third quarters where maybe things aren't going well offensively, just to be able to get big buckets to keep the team in? I mean, that is super important to our team. I think our entire team just kind of looks forward to Riley and said both just kind of putting the team on their back. There are six year seniors. They are without a doubt our leaders. Um, so I love that there's somebody that we can get that ball to when we know we need a bucket or a foul. Um, but like Riley said, I mean, it, it takes a, a team effort. You know, our girls really did a lot of reading offensively today. So when Riley did take two players, they were able to slip to the basket. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's just it's just very helpful knowing that we have that kind of leadership, that kind of poise more than anything. You know, when when you're a veteran like that, you just have a lot of poise. So that that's super important to our team. Uh, Riley, so no secret, kind of fighting through some injuries here as a team. What's the mindset when you have kind of that short bench and you know you're going to have to kind of fight through there? Yeah, I think it's kind of like next man up. If one person's down, the next person has to be ready to go. And I think we've done a really good job so far uh, playing like that and having that mentality coming in. Everyone's pushing each other at practice, things like that, ready to take their moment when the time comes. Um, Coach, uh, on that note, um, a couple of the you know, kind of less experienced bigs really getting thrown into the fire here with uh, you know, Madison and Caitlin. Uh, what did you see from them that impressed you tonight? I mean, what I see in them tonight is what I see every single day in practice. You know, we really compete in practice. We really get after it. Maddie and Caitlin were going up against each other all week in practice, preparing for this day. We knew that uh, Army had a really great post player, and, and we just worked at it. We worked at it, and I think the harder they work, the more confident they are. When Kayla went down, you know, the post players knew that they had to step up, and they were ready for the challenge, and it looks like they've accepted that challenge very very well. Um, just about Sydney, maybe not the greatest shooting performance from her, but still making big plays down the stretch. You know, the, the backdoor cut the bucket to mm -hmm. give the first lead since the second quarter. Um, you know, what kind of does that show, even if she's not shooting the ball well, still able to contribute? I mean, one thing we try to instill in our girls is confidence, whether it's Sid and she's only one for eight. I think I told her even out there, like, so what? Like, keep shooting, keep being ready, and, and find something else. We talked about downstairs, maybe get into the free throw line and see the ball go into the basket. And we went to the line, I mean, where we're 18 for 23 from the free throw line. So we're trying to find different ways. You know, it's going to be Sid one night. It's going to be someone else another night, you know, that might be struggling to score. Um, but just being confident, taking the in rhythm shot. Um, 
uh, not second guessing, not hesitating. Like we talk about that nonstop with our young ladies. Um, so yeah, I mean, it wasn't a great night for her, but she still was able to step up and, and her, her layups were very momentum shifting for us. A lot of them were wide open. So um, very happy that she didn't let that kind of sink her and, and still ended up with 14. Uh, and then this kind of gets that big five game home stand off. What is it kind of be able to kick it off with, with that nice comeback one tonight? I think it was so important. You know, we took two losses on the road and you know, George Mason, that was a, that was a tough one because we let them get up on us early and we came back late and it just kind of deflated us a little bit. And so being able to come back here in our home with our fans, our fr our family, our friends, um, I think it was just so important to go ahead and get that win and get us back confident in what we know we can do and how we can play basketball. All right, can I just ask you one more question? You know, I mentioned a little bit a reputation of shooting from distance, but that go ahead bucket, you're driving in the lane, getting dirty, willing to make that play. What do you like about kind of maybe keeping defenders on their toes? They don't know what to expect from you. Yeah, I think, I mean, it makes someone hard to guard. Like when I think uh, being on defense, it's hard to guard someone who can shoot and drive because you're close out and then playing off the close out. Uh, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess I like doing that. I keep the defender on their toes. Cool. Thank you. Thank you.